Hello friends. I wait for everyone to get here and then I'm gonna go ahead and post the shopping link right here in the comments. All right, and I'm gonna pin it. There we go. All right. So wait for everybody to get here and then we'll do our makeup. I'm not sure what kind of eye look I wanna do. Maybe vote in the comments. These are the colors that are available. Do you want an orange eye, a purple eye, a brown eye? I don't know. I just don't know yet. I was thinking by the time I get to my eyes, I'll feel inspired, so we'll see. All right, so welcome, welcome. Let me know where you're watching from. If you're new, if you've never seen one of my tutorials before, hashtag newbie in the comments so I can say hello. And make sure to click the bottom left hand corner um, to save it on your page. So that way you can watch it on the replay when you get your makeup in the mail. And if you haven't yet tried this foundation or products in general, make sure to comment color match in the comments if you want a personalized recommendation from me. And then make sure to also, um, uh, what was I going to say? No, I can't remember. But yeah, comment color match in the comment if... It, comment color match in the comments if you need a personalized recommendation. Oh, this is what I was going to say. And when you're shopping, make sure you're shopping down here. RayaHopeBeauty.com. Hi, Greta. Thank you for being here. All right. So feel free to do your little thumbs up emojis, the heart emojis, and... um. Yeah, engage with me because that's why we're doing this live. I know there's been a couple people that are like, do you ever do personalized lives? Hi, Mandy. Welcome. And this is what this is. So ask your questions. I have my assistant on with me as well to help to comment back to you guys if you're watching this on silent or whatever. Um, is a la mode powder made for all over the face? No. Well, Technically, yes, you can use it all over. It's like a shimmery shine though. So I don't think you'd want to. You typically just want to use it in like the highest parts of your cheekbones. But like I said, make sure to um, uh, ask your questions in the comments. That's what the, these lives are for. I love to demo different looks for you guys, but this is really, I always want to do these makeup tutorials to kind of help to answer any questions you may have about makeup application. Um, of course, I can't answer every single question or else I would just sit here and read all day long. Maybe I'll do a Q&A one day. That'd be fun. Would you guys want to see that? Like a Q&A, like not me doing the makeup, but me just like answering questions for the whole live? I don't know. Let me know about that. Leah, you are not stupid. I know makeup sometimes can be really intimidating. I, background on myself, I wasn't a huge like makeup person at all. Um, I had no idea how to do makeup until I was like, I didn't start doing it until my late 20s. So I'm just here to show you guys um, that it's possible to learn and to do it while um, later in age. Um, and this makeup brand, honestly just makes it easier. So I love this brand and I say when it makes it easier because it really, the products really work together. They're not difficult to blend. They're not difficult to match. So um, need clarification on what brushes. Okay. I'll try to highlight more brushes then. Okay. And a Q&A. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Would you guys want to see that tomorrow? I'm actually doing my mom's, is today Tuesday? Yeah. I'm doing my mom's makeup tomorrow live with you guys. Um, so we'll be doing that tomorrow. Um, and so maybe I'll do a Q&A tomorrow. That might be fun. Okay, we'll get started. <laughs> Need of the screw. Awesome. Hi, Deborah. Okay, where are you going? I'm gonna go take oh, take your truck. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go in first with my powder concealer brush. Um, liquid or powder better for hiding wrinkles. So hiding wrinkles, that's kind of a double-edged sword because you can't really hide like an indent. Um, but I would say the best coverage for that would be stick foundation. If a shade's too orange for you, you can always mix it with like a BB cream, which is a more neutral shade. So that would help. Um, and also using a pressed powder over top can sometimes help as well. Ah, thank you. I'm so glad. 
I thought there might be a new powder. I must be confused with all the mud. Um, the new powder would be the pressed powder. That's a newer powder that they did. Okay, so we'll get started. I'm going to use the Liquid Touch Foundation today for my coverage, and I'm going to use it in the shade Lace. I always squeeze the topper and shake up really, really well, and that will really help to um, bump up the coverage. So I always kind of go and really shake up my bottle for a while before I go live while my primer dries and stuff. So that's going to be really helpful for getting your makeup to look a little more fuller coverage. So with uh, talking about brushes, you guys had mentioned you want to know more about brushes, like which brush for what. So for liquid foundation, my favorite brush is this. This is called the powder concealer brush. However, you can also use the kabuki brush. You'll use it kind of the same way with the kabuki brush. You'll use more of a stippling, stippling, can never say that word, motion such as this. But with the powder concealer brush, you'll use more of a swiping, swirling motion. So it just kind of depends what brush you have on hand. The powder concealer brush, I believe is out of stock, was out of stock last I checked. So you can use the Kabuki brush, which again, you'll just kind of more of a pressing motion versus a swiping motion because it is more of a denser, flatter head on the surface there. Um, but I love to go in first with the brush applying the liquid foundation because this is going to apply it very quickly and very um, kind of evenly so you don't have any buildup of foundation any which way. So I'm going to go in all over with this and apply the liquid foundation all over. I'm new to use a particular brand. Yes, I use this brand called Unique. So everything I'm using is actually available right here, rayahopebeauty.com, and everything has a love it guarantee. I know it can be kind of scary to buy makeup online. I thought the same thing, but then honestly, once you start doing it, then you you realize how much easier it is than buying makeup in a store. In a store, you can't, typically, you can't open the product, squirt it on your face, and apply it. You just have to go off word of mouth of these um, people that work in the store. And typically these people that work in the store, they don't care. <laughs> They're being paid the minimum wage. They're just doing their time there versus this. I care. This is like my full-time job. I'm so passionate about this brand and I really care if it matches for you. And I'm here if it doesn't, I'm here if you have questions. I'm here if you get your products in the mail and you're like, what is this? How do I apply this? You can't do that at Ulta or Sephora. They're they're not going to... You can't call and be like, hey, I was there yesterday. And they don't know. Versus I do know. Since it's a communication here on Facebook and we're talking um, back and forth with what foundation is right for you, what color, all of that. And then you get your products in the mail and say you have a question, reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. So feel free to comment color match in the comments if you need a personalized recommendation. And also, just a side note, when you go to Target or go to Walmart or go to Ulta or go to Sephora and you buy your makeup, you're just putting makeup in that or you're just putting money in that big CEO's pocket and he doesn't even know who you are, what your name is, versus when you shop for me, you're supporting a mom of two with a husband, I have two dogs, like you're helping a person versus a giant CEO who doesn't know. So, uh, and like I said, you get that personalized help from me. So make sure to comment color match in the comments if you need anything, if you have any questions, let me know. But now I'm going in with the blending bud. So again, talking about uh, tools with application, the blending bud is so, and a cat, that's right, <laughs> so important. Um, for getting that smooth application. Typically when you go in with a brush, you like swirl all over and it has a tendency to look a little patchy just because you're like doing this motion. Even if you were using the Kabuki brush and like pressing it in all over with your brush, you still have that disconnect of the foundation versus when you go in with a blending bud, this is going to be amazing for getting your makeup to look very very smooth so someone had asked well, how do i hide my wrinkles the blending bud's gonna be the best option for you and the reason is because it's compressing the makeup down in a place versus just swirling or pressing um, with a brush so you're going to use these damp so you wring them underneath the water and you squeeze them out until no water falls from them then they're ready to use and when you buy them from my website, you get two. You get a large and a small, which is perfect for foundation and concealer. So we're using the blending bud, which is going to be under applicators and tools on my website right here, rayahopebeauty.com. 
of the stick foundation and struggling with the blending buds any suggestions make sure to really kind of work them in maybe wash them once or twice to get them to be a little bit more um, softer but don't give up stick with it if I use chiffon what would pass powder you probably be chiffon press powder actually but to be sure send me a selfie facing a window and I can give you a recommendation all right, so now our foundation is on. So again, that was the Liquid Touch Foundation the shade Lace that we used all over. And now I'm gonna go in with concealer. So this is going to be amazing for puffiness, amazing for fine lines, and amazing for darkness on your under eyes. So this is the Skin Solution Concealer. I'm using it in the shade Organza, and I'm gonna use it in a V-shape or like an upside down triangle on my under eyes. If you have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, a little tip for you for your application is do a little dot here and do a little dot here and then blend in. It'll just lessen the amount of product that's on your under eyes. So now I'm gonna take my smaller blending bud, which is also damp and blend this in all over. I apply it on my eyelids and it's gonna kind of act as like eye primer. And we're gonna work this up and over just like this all over the eye and this is not only going to brighten our under eye it's going to also elongate the under eye because we did that v-shape and it's going to hide dark circles so why i said this is amazing for puffiness is it actually has caffeine infused in it which just like when you drink caffeine it makes your body alive same thing with caffeine and makeup products it brings it like sparks your uh, the collagen in your skin. It sparks your skin to tighten and tone. So if you have really puffy under eyes, this is a really amazing product. Also the unique eye cream. I always apply the eye cream on my under eyes um, before any makeup foundation or any primer, anything. That's the first step that I do every single day. I apply my eye cream on my under eyes and my eyelids and that also has caffeine and peptides in it. So that's gonna be really, really firming for your under eye and it also helps to heal dark circles. So definitely grab the Unique Eye Cream. Cannot recommend it enough. So with concealer, try that little tip that I suggested. Put your little dot here and a little dot here and then blend in with a damp blending bud and see how that looks. Yes, doesn't it work amazing? I love it. All right, so now I'm gonna set my makeup using our Touch Bowl Hold Setting Powder. So this is a translucent setting powder, meaning there's no color to it. And I'm gonna take it on a dry blending bed. This actually is from Walmart. And I'm gonna spritz my uh, blending bed with the setting spray. My horseshoe, both my necklaces are from Amy Waltz Designs. Actually, also my ring too. All three things are from Amy Waltz. She's a small business here out of California and she does all handmade jewelry. She's incredible. And my code with her is Love 15 Yes, that eye cream is a game changer. Honestly, it's probably my top five products from Unique. I was actually on their test group um, for result wise. And I was only allowed to use the eye cream. I wasn't allowed to use any other skincare product for a month. And I was, I had to track my results. And honestly, like at first I was like, I'm not going to see results without using my other skincare. I can't just use one product and see results. I was very skeptical. At the end of the 30 days, I was literally shook, literally shook at the results that I got. So I got my mom the eye cream and I got her a whole regimen and I'll post her um, results in the comments after I get off. Four weeks, you guys. She looks like a whole new woman. I am like, she sent me the picture and she's like, I don't know if I like see the results. And I was literally like, you are insane. I cannot believe how bright and even her skin looks. Reduced her redness tenfold. I am like so incredibly blown away. If you need the skincare regimen, uh, comment skincare in the comments and I'll send it to you. Also, when you do comment skincare, make sure you comment like what your skin is like. So if you have dry skin, mature skin, oily skin, normal skin, comment skincare and then your skincare type. So skincare, dry skin, skincare, mature skin. And I'll send you the regimen. The product I'm talking about is the Unique Eye Cream. Can't find a word to order the setting spray. Bonnie, if you go right here, rayahopebeauty.com, click on shop now, and it will take you to my... Um, my page and then click on the face and it'll be in setting. Awesome. I will send you guys your skincare regimen that I do for my mom. She has mature skin. So that's the regimen I have her on. So highly recommend. So if you are using your, there she is. Hi mom. 
Um, <clears throat> if you're using your setting powder and you're not liking the results of your under eye, a trick that you could do is take your pressed powder and the same kind of blending bud, swirl it in that product and tap that on. You may be using too much or too much of a drier powder for your under eye, so try that way too. Another tip or way that you can set your makeup is this. So this is the pressed powder I'm using in the shade Taffeta and I'm going to use this all over and this is going to be like my all over powder. This is going to give us that really soft airbrush coverage. It's also going to even out our skin tone and draw out those natural oils of our skin to basically trap them so no like nothing's moving around. So I'm going to apply this on one side of my face because I want you guys to see the difference. So here I've used it on one side and here I haven't. Click that little thumbs up if you see the difference on using pressed powder to set your all over makeup. Isn't that not amazing? I can see the disconnect where I use my setting powder versus where I didn't. I can see a little bit of blotchiness versus this side which just looks super super soft. I'm telling you guys setting your foundation and a lot of people all the time are like, do I need two powder or do I need two foundations? The pressed powder is more of like a setting powder slash foundation. So this is amazing for getting that really, really soft complexion. So again, I'm using it in the shade Taffeta with a big giant Kabuki brush. If you want the link to the brush, just message me. Um, did you buy it off Etsy or, or Etsy, uh, eBay or Amazon? It's like a dupe. And also I've had this one for like four years. <laughs> Message me for um, the brush link, but I'm gonna apply this all over. So what's really awesome about this pressed powder is it actually has shea butter and vitamin E infused in it. So it's actually extremely hydrating for your skin. Uh, opposed to most pressed powders on the market, they're very drying and they make your skin look cracked and cakey and powdery. This powder does not, it is so hydrating and soft on the skin cannot recommend it enough especially if you have more mature skin it's perfect yes absolutely okay so now for contouring so i'm going to use the same product the pressed powder but this is in the shade chenille i'm going to take it on the tapered blusher brush so again going over tools this is the brush that you want for contouring it is the perfect amount of tapered it's a perfect amount of fluff it's honestly the best brush for contouring because it just fits perfectly right in the hollow of your cheek. So this is going to be the brush that you want for bronzing and contouring because it just honestly, it makes it so easy. You don't have to be worried that your contour looks too bold or too big or too small or anything. It's so, so good. So how to prevent your makeup from going on your mask? That's a tough one because honestly, a mask is just rubbing, right? Um, unless it's literally painted on you. So the best products to help would be the setting powder, press powder, and the setting spray. So those three setting products are going to be really helpful at helping prevent it. Um, but even my mask has makeup on it. It's just, it is what it is. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad, Alicia. All right. So for contouring again, I'm using the shade Chenille. We're just going over in the contoured areas. Bottom of the ear, stop about where your contour is. Top of the ear, go towards the mouth, stop two finger lengths away, just kind of in this little hollow there. And then you can also kind of contour underneath if you have that, that COVID jaw, <laughs> the quarantine 15, like I do. And then for uh, contouring your nose, you'll just squeeze the brush and run it down the sides of the nose like this. Let's contour the nose. You can also contour the bottom of the lip. Wherever you put a contour is going to recede. Wherever you don't or have a highlight is going to make it pop forward. But this is just overall gonna make your under eyes look brighter, tighter, more youthful. It just makes your whole complexion just kind of bring it all together. Um, Holly, send me a selfie facing a window because you could be a couple different colors. Tips for acne. Um, my favorite tip would be the perfecting face mask. It's amazing for bringing out all that junk out of your skin. Um, you, if you order the pressed powder, um, what is today? The 12th? Yeah, I think so. I know the mask, the Mac, what, what do they call it? Macne. <laughs> it's, it's a real, real struggle. All right, so now for blush, I'm gonna use the shade Surreal, which is a very beautiful 
dusty rose and it also has this really gorgeous sheen to it look at that is that not so pretty and it also really illuminates your skin so if you're looking for that really gorgeous glowy finish highly recommend this blush again it's the shade surreal and it has this really gorgeous iridescent like tone to it that's really going to bring out your jaw structure and your cheekbones so highly recommend that. And then we're going to go ahead and top with our Touch of the Mode Luminizer in the shade Pearly on the tip of bridge in the nose and then highest parts of the cheekbones. And same thing, this is going to really bring out that gorgeous like bone structure and just give us that really, really pretty glowy, dewy finish. Hello. Hi, guys. Again, if you are new, make sure you hashtag newbie in the comments so I can welcome you. Make sure in the bottom left-hand corner, you click that little button to save it on your Facebook. So that way, when you get your makeup in the mail, you could watch us on the replay um, if you have any questions on application. And then if you need any help picking out your products, just comment color match in the comments, and I will private message you. All right, so now for brows, I'm going to do the brow pencil in the shade medium. And I'm going to follow the tear duct straight up. Sorry, brushes. I forgot I'm like highlighting brushes this one. So for blush, we used, hi Karen, welcome. For blush, we used the setting powder brush. I really, really like this one because it's super tapered. So you're gonna get that really nice fluff um, that kind of helps to separate the blush so you don't get like a chunk in one spot. So setting powder brush is my favorite. Hi Candace, thanks for being here. Hi Heather. So making sure um, that you have your really soft blush versus um, kind of more of a targeted application. So I really like this for that. So again, this is called the Setting Powder Brush. And then for my highlight, this one's not from Unique. It's from Sephora. It's called a Pro Highlight 98. I just liked it because it's a little bit smaller. So it fits really nicely in that little hollow and the bridge and the tip of the nose. So this one's from Sephora. Love the new loose powder. Yes, absolutely. Maybe open the bottle and let some air out. Yes. Yes, Jessica, exactly. Hi, Sandy, thanks for being here. All right, so now for brows again, brow pencil, uh, tear duct straight up. Um, there's no real difference between those two, but one is a cream to powder and one's a powder. I think the powder is just easier for application, to be honest, so that's what I prefer. Hello guys. Hi, welcome. Make sure to turn on the post notifications as well so you don't miss out on any future lives up here in those three little dots. If you click those, you'll turn on notifications. Hi Dana, welcome. All right, so super fast, super easy with the brow pencil. I love that it has a retractable tip so you never have to worry about sharpening it and it has incredible holding power. I have never had my eyebrows melt or fade away throughout the day even with swimming and out in the pool and the beach and all of that so if you're looking for a really really great brow product this is it i cannot say enough good things about how easy it is for application and for learning how to do your eyebrows so if you are in that boat where you're still kind of perfecting the brow definitely get the brow pencil it just makes life so much easier so I'm just gonna outline and fill in. And then I always take the spoolie side and kind of comb through a little bit to soften up the brows. Not sure what blush to use. I always say when you're in doubt of what blush, just use the shade Sisterly. It looks amazing on everyone I've ever seen it on. And it's a very soft color. So I've never heard anyone actually not like that color. So Sisterly would be a good one for you. All right, so now for eyeliner, we're gonna go in with the shade Perfect. Hi, Deborah. Welcome. And we're going to go ahead and apply this on the waterline. And I love this eyeliner. One, because it's only $15. And two, it actually stays where you put it. All right, so we're going to apply this on the waterline. And this is really going to be amazing for giving us that kind of sultry look. What if you have mature skin? Should you do a shimmer? Absolutely. I don't think that doing a shimmer is designated to one age group um i think that how you apply it will matter like where you apply it so i would suggest just kind of sticking to the highest parts of the cheekbone would be helpful um would be my suggestion oh awesome hi kayla thanks for being here all right so now for eyes i'm still i hadn't decided what 
eye look I wanted to do. So I'm, I need your guys' help. What kind of eye look should we do? Should we do like purples? Should we do browns? Should we do like an orangey uh, metallic eye? What do you guys want to see? So these are all the available colors right now that are available in the um, April special. So if you weren't if you didn't know, every month we have a different special. This month you get any eyeshadow, you get any mascara, you get any blush, and you get any lip gloss on sale. So you get all of those products on sale on the April special. So make sure to check that out um, because it's a really, really good deal. It's a lot of savings and you add, I think like one product and you get free shipping. So make sure to check that out. All right. So I see brown, purple, pink, brown, orange, I need a, like a tally. Orange eye look or browns, rose gold. But look how many colors. Isn't that gorgeous? And this case is actually from Unique as well. So if you are starting to collect your eyeshadows from our company, make sure to grab this case. It's underneath uh, refillable palettes and it holds 25 and it's magnetized. So you can like move your eyeshadows around and then it also comes with this big mirror, which is nice. Smoky eye orange. See how many oranges do I see? One, two, three, four. And then browns, I see one, two, three, four, five. Ah! Hmm. Orange or brown? Let's do that. Orange or brown? My makeup never stays on my forehead. Um, make sure that you're setting really well. So using the setting or the pressed powder would be really helpful for you. All right. I see a lot of browns. We're going to go brown. Um, we're going to go like more smoky eye brown. How about that? How about that? So game plan. All right. First off, I'm going to go in with the shade earthly, which is this guy. <laughs> okay. I'll do orange tomorrow. Cause I see a lot of oranges as well. I'm going to do brown today, orange tomorrow. Actually, I'm doing my mom's makeup tomorrow. So I'll do browns today, oranges Thursday. Good deal? Okay, so we're going to go in with the shade Earthy on our fluffy crease brush. And I'm going to use this thing first for blending into the crease. Hey, Alexa. Alexa. Never mind. All right, so we're going to blend this into the crease. I hear our dog. She got in the house. <laughs> our little Dalmatian is an escape artist. <laughs> all right, browns it is. All right, so we're going to go in with Earthy, and we're going to start to blend this all over. And I'm going to work this into the crease. This is something really, really good this, this is something, this color is really, really good to have like in your arsenal of colors because it looks amazing on everyone and it's a very soft kind of like a grayish brown. So this is going to be a really good transitional crease color. It can also be used like by itself. So if you want a, yes, Purple Friday, there you go, Holly. <laughs> um, so if you're looking for like a really good like a color to, that goes with everything, this is the color to get. So we're gonna put earthy in the crease and kind of work this up into the brow bone. And then I'm gonna go in with, I think we're just gonna do it. We're gonna go in with Marvelous. So Marvelous is going to be um, more of a darker matte brown. So first I'm gonna go in with the fluffy crease brush and I'm going to start working this on to the actual eyelid using a tapping motion versus like a sweeping motion. So we're gonna tap, tap, tap this on all over. Just like this. Why not I look with you? With a blush? Cause there's just so many fun eyeshadows to use. Yes, uh, it does ship to the UK. So if you are not in the US, um, You'll just head to my website right here, rayahopebeauty.com, and you will scroll to the very bottom. When you see the U.S. flag, you'll just change it to your country's flag, and it will ship 
to you from your country, actually. We have warehouses all over the world. Uh, so make sure to go to rayahopebeauty.com and you can shop there, even if you don't live in the U.S. Does your self-tanner tend to stick to sunspots? No, uh-uh. And I have psoriasis also, and it doesn't stick to that either. Ah, uh, thanks, Clarissa. All right, so we're going to start again. We're just kind of working our way up the eyelid. And a helpful tip, too, is when you are doing a darker color like this, try to tighten the eyelid, if you know what I mean. Not kind of, like, relax, but raise the eyebrow to really get into those harder spots. So then when you have your eyes closed, it doesn't look like your eyeshadow stopped too low. I think they all do. I call them freckles. <laughs> You're funny. All right, so we're going to just still work in this color in, which, again, was the shade Marvelous. And then once I get to the crease, I'm just kind of sweeping this back and forth like this. But can you tell I apply my self-tanner with my ring on? <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? What's the name of the self-tanner? Let me give you the link. Self-tanner. And then the code is Rhea to save. And then I always use the 10% mousse. And then the next day after I rinse it off, then I use the uh, tanning extending lotion. I feel like that's like the trick. All right, so now that we have the majority of that color on, now I'm going to go in with a deluxe brush. And I'm going to just tap this in there. And then now this is where we're going to really like fine tune this look and darken up the actual lid. So it's going to look like it all kind of faded together, like faded outward lighter and lighter. So just pressing this on all over. Just like that. And then just make sure to get like really close to the lash line will really help. I actually haven't tried Pink Lily's self tanner. I'm such a creature of habit. I've been using the Glow Pro self tanner for almost four years. And I just love that it has such a great holding power, meaning that I don't have to like reapply every single week and it fades really nice. So I never have to scrub it off. A lot of the self tanners out there, like once they fade, you start looking patchy and just starts looking really noticeable. And I love that, um, glow pro doesn't do that. It fades really, really nice. And it doesn't have a strong scent either. I'm like such a weirdo when it comes to that. I like cannot stand if it's like super strong. Um, so I like that it doesn't, that it's not. Deluxe brush is more compact, exactly. So the compact is gonna make the shadow look darker. So the fluffier, the softer, kind of think of it that way. Yes, makeup live with my mom tomorrow. I'm not sure what kind of eye look I'm gonna do on, or what makeup look I'm gonna do on her yet, but we'll figure that out tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna take the fluffy crease brush and I'm just kind of wiping off. What blush did you say to you used? I used the shade Surreal today. All right, and then I'm gonna switch it up again and grab even a fluffier brush. I don't want to have it to use every week. Yeah, Jamie, grab the Glow Pro. It's so good. And then now I'm gonna use this in the outside of the eye just to soften everything up. Because like I said, the fluffier the brush, the lighter it will look. So this will really help to lighten it all up. And then the key to doing your smoky eye is once you blend, blend again. <laughs> now I'm gonna keep my eye open and just use a super soft hand. When you're applying your eyeshadows, try to have your hand towards the back of the brush versus up, like up at the front, and it will help to apply it really, really soft. No, it doesn't smell um, harshly, the self tanner. All right, so going back and forth just like this. And then now I'm gonna take the liner side and I'm going to drag this underneath the lower lash line. And this is gonna kind of give it a more like finished more cohesive look. It's also a really good kind of trick too if you have a lot of fine lines under your eyes. Kind of helps to disguise those. Now I'm going to flip that around and just kind of uh, swish at this to smoke it out a little bit more. Just like this. Okay other side. Okay. 
And then again, if you are needing a good eyeshadow, make sure to grab it in the April special. You get to choose any eyeshadow color. And we've pretty much used Marvelous all over. And then we also used Earthy uh, to blend out. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Optimistic next. Okay. We're looking smoky. And then crease brush and I'm going to take the shade optimistic which is this like really light champagne and I'm going to take that and apply this on the inner corner and this is really going to kind of illuminate the eye see how it just like adds that shimmer you can also use this color as a highlight too on like the um all over <laughs> that's such a weird laugh all right now key part is taking, um, <laughs> so a trick for that, um, when you do smoky eyes and it looks like you got punched, is blending. The more the better, and honestly, the fluffy crease brush is my favorite for this. And then when you're done, use your blending bud and really bounce this off underneath, and this will kind of clean up any eyeshadow that may have fallen. It'll kind of tighten it up on the outside to make it look a little softer as well. A little trick, trickaroo. All right, we're going to do the um, mascara, and it will look a little bit more normal. Always looks weird without mascara. All right, so I'm going to spray my setting spray. Okay, and that is really going to help to hold everything in a place. So someone had asked before, what should I use um, to prevent my makeup from coming off my mask? setting spray. Setting spray is a really, really, really good product. It also is going to help to add moisture into your foundations, which helps it to look even more natural and softer on your complexion. So if you ever feel like there's, your just makeup's not looking right. It looks like it's drier or pouchier or anything. The setting spray is going to be very, very helpful for you. So make sure to take advantage and use this before and after your primer and then after your makeup. And then now we're going to go in with the lash primer. And I'm going to go from the base lash all the way up with this. And this is going to give us a ton of length on our lashes. It's also going to be extremely hydrating for our lashes. So this is going to be a really great product uh, for getting that length. And then now I'm going to go in with the Twisted Mascara. So like I said, oh no, the setting spray in your hair does not matter whatsoever. It's not going to make your hair hard or anything like that. So go hog wild, girl. <laughs> All right, for the Twisted Mascara, what's really, really amazing about this guy is not only does it have a very intentional little bristle brush, so you get really good separation of your lashes, but it also has argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it, so it actually gives your lashes a ton of length and volume while you're applying, and it helps them to grow. Oh, thank you. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad you're taking notes. Right? Aren't the new lip glosses so pretty? I'm actually going to use one today, and I'm so excited to see how this lip look turns out. I have an idea. I have an idea. Setting spray before and after primer didn't know that. Yes. That is called my secret pre-makeup routine. So my makeup routine, I'm sorry, my pre-makeup routine, what I do before I put on any makeup is so crucial to getting your makeup to look flawless. So here's what you do. You're going to go in with the eye cream first. So unique eye cream um, on your under eyes and your eyelids. Let it dry. Let it sit on your skin for a few minutes. And then you're going to, if you're super dry, go in with your rose water. Spray the rose water all over. Let it fully dry. And that's going to be like your toner and it's also going to be your moisturizer. And then you're going to go in with your setting spray. Apply your setting spray all over and look at this tiny little wand. Isn't this amazing? I love this guy for getting those hard to reach eyelashes. Um, so setting spray, let it fully dry. Then apply your primer. I use the mattifying face primer. Cannot recommend this guy enough. It blurs fine lines and pores and has the silicone or there's no silicone in it. So there's no drying effect, which is my favorite part of the matte primer. Usually matte primers make me feel really dry and that one doesn't. 
Um, so apply your primer and let it sit on your skin for like three to five minutes. That's going to be super important because it's allowing the primer to settle into your skin, into your pores versus when you put it on and you go right in with your foundation, you're just wasting product. So make sure to let your setting spray, I'm sorry, your primer set. I don't do a face moisturizer. No, I only do the rose water. Now I'm going in with the 4D mascara just as a little topper because we did kind of a dramatic eye. I'm going to go in with this for a little bit extra va va because it has fibers infused in it so it gives you really good. Yeah, no silicone in the matte primer, which I love that. And then, um, then setting spray again. So setting spray, primer, setting spray. And the setting spray the second time is going to kind of set the primer in a, in a place. So very, very good. Yes, the all of the mascaras that I use, the Twisted and the 4D, are all options in this month this month's bundle. All right, so now for lips, I'm gonna do the lip liner in Punchy and apply this all over. I love our lip liners because they're super creamy, and they're like fifteen dollars. And it's so important for making sure that you line your lips before you put on lipstick because it's going to help to contain the lipstick so you don't have any bleeding. Helps to just make sure everything stays where you want it. Okay, so once we've lined our lips with Punchy, now I'm going to go in with the lipstick in the shade Easy Street. My favorite lip gloss color is the shade Luxe. All right, so we're gonna take this all out to the lip liner. And this is the shade Easy Street, which this is actually my favorite lipstick color because it just looks good on everybody and it's a very soft, kind of like a, a pinky nude. Very, very pretty on. And I love our matte lipsticks because they are matte, but they don't dry and they don't pull and they have actually really good sticking power for being just a lipstick. Okay, so now I'm actually going to use the shade Lonesome. So this is a very pretty um, kind of a iridescent pink. And it's going to change the lip look up a little bit. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh, I love this. So that was Easy Street, Punchy. Punchy Lip Liner, Easy Street Lipstick, Lonesome Lip Gloss for this lip kit. And that's so gorgeous. I love that these lip glosses aren't super sticky, but they're still a high gloss. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's no scent to them either, which again, weird about smells. So I love that about this one too. All right, so that was the whole makeup look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you take advantage of the April special down here pinned in the comments and grab your any blush, um, any uh, mascara, and any lip gloss, and any eyeshadow in that uh, bundle. So again, that's under April special. And then if you want this makeup look, you can shop it right here, rayahopebeauty.com. And if you click on looks, it will actually take you to the looks tab, which if you type in Rhea Hope in that looks tab, you can see all of my different makeup looks that I've ever done. So make sure to check that out, which I'll actually put that right here. Okay, pinned in the link or wrote it in the link right there um, for you guys to check out. So make sure to comment color match if you guys need any help. Uh, make sure you're shopping down here, rayahopebeauty.com, and I will see you guys tomorrow where I do my mom's makeup. I will be live with her at around 2.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to do her makeup. So I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.